Seven time will start. I've never liked him. Yeah. Never have. It's just business. Yeah. Unfortunately, we see how apart we sit. We don't get along. We hate working out. Um, I hope we can share a seat in the, in, physically in the car because I might go to the bathroom in it. I, I actually asked to be number 84 instead of 48 because 48 doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> so, uh, no, kidding. <laughs> we kind of met you know, through social media. And then I, when Dario was in NASCAR, I went to a couple races and we, we chat a little bit and, and that's how it started, right? Um, we always appreciate each other's job, I think. We always wanted it to drive each other's car. If mm -hmm. I go through my phone and I looked at mm -hmm. our text messages over the years, it's mm -hmm. always about, hey, uh, I'm coming mm -hmm. to Miami, let's ride. When are you riding? It was nothing about anything about racing. So, and I remember exactly where I was the day it was when he called actually he didn't even text i was actually on my bike on zwift at home and and i picked up the phone and i'm thinking he's going to invite me to either go to colorado or <laughs> where are we going to go ride and he says hey uh how about uh doing some indycar together i i was like what are you talking about and that's how i actually started it so uh, i think we've always had great respect for one another and then the friendship was able to build and you know, as, as I was trying to put the pieces together uh, for this dream of mine, um, I just knew, you know, that finding the right guy for the Oval would be, be key to sell this. And the first thought that came to mind was Tony. Um, <laughs> the deal was, you know, was he ready to really get back in the car and, and get the hall pass to get back in the car? You know, questions that I was dealing with myself. <laughs> so making that first phone call to Tony, and really understanding where his heart was and, and how excited he would be for an opportunity like this. 